Hey everyone, welcome back to beautiful Cromer. It's a glorious sunny middle of the afternoon. Um, we're going to do a walk off to Sheringham this evening. We're going to try and capture a bit of sunset, hopefully. Go past West Runton and Beast and Bump. 207 feet high. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that, but George probably knew how high it was. But... Yes, I knew that. Who are you? I am your mum. And who are you? I am unfortunately your stepfather. <laughs> there you go. Um, thankfully for you lot, they're not coming with me. But I thought I'd bring them on because it's like a bit of a Christmas thing. And I just want to say Merry Christmas to them both. And thank you very much for their support in this last year and a half. You've both been brilliant. And we want to thank you for keep sending me presents and parcels. And right, that's things. enough of that. Um, <laughs> so, I'm going to leave the pier, give you some drone action, leave these two behind and toddle off down that way, over the beach, up a cliff, over the hill, and into Sheringham. So there's Chromophere from down below. Built and opened in June 1901, with a length of 495 feet. I'm hoping we're gonna get some really, really nice colors down here. Look at it already, the sky is just turning that pinky blue. That's amazing. So, London Road is up there. We've got all these nice um, holiday shacks here, holiday huts. Um, yeah, beach huts. So, London Road's up there. We're leaving Cromer behind. In the far distance over there, that beautiful sky lot, we've got a huge offshore wind farm. And it's, it's a glorious evening. I'm just hoping that it gets a hell of a lot more golden. I'm really optimistic. There's virtually no cloud. There's no cloud out at sea, no cloud over on inland either so it is slightly a bit of a late evening walk as i say with a bit of a festive twinge to it and you should see a better picture of what i'm on about when i get to the other end and when i do get to the other end i eventually come back to chroma hopefully we'll get to see some of the christmas lights in and around that town center too so quite a lot of landslip just here look at how high those cliffs are though it's gradually eroding away um, on the beach itself now, we've run out of surface. Oh, look at that sky, that's amazing. Yeah, run out of surface, so I'm on this gravelly, sandy stuff. So, hopefully I can keep my shoes in good condition. So up there, beyond the cliffs, we've got East Runton. 
And we've got a couple of caravan parks up there too. In the distance, we've got Sea View Caravan Park. And the one up there is Hazelbury Caravan Park and also Leeks Caravan Park. Must be a bit precarious. Some of those caravans are right on that cliff edge, you know. I'd be a bit paranoid about getting one so close, even though for the short term, hopefully the long term, some beautiful views. Some views that you could just never, ever put down. And also, in probably about half a mile's time, as we go past these cliffs and caravan parks, we'll be coming towards West Runton. West Runton Beach is next in about half a mile. And I'm going to attempt to go up the cliff, along the path, and hopefully walk along that cliff edge. Can't wait for that. Not sure if you can see it, but right there, the lifeboat's coming back in. Oh, it's a shame I didn't realise that was happening earlier. I could have flown over there a little bit or watched it come in. Um, wind farms over there is a massive, I think it's an oil container boat just about to go past them. Can't see that either. What you can now see is the roofs of the caravans look from the caravan park. Looking even closer to the edge. And I think the edge is just a little bit lower down too. There's little bits of tarmac. Can you see the tarmac that's fell down, those big squares? That'd be from the old internal roads and pathways from when the caravan park would have extended further along. Yeah, look a closer look there. Uh, what it probably could well be, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think they actually could have been the bases what the static caravan stood on. I suppose local people are going to know that more than me. But that's what it looks like. It just seems so equally set in shape. and. Uh, correct width I think for a static caravan. Nice little message in the sand there, look is it Mr and Mrs Bailey left a nice little heart in the sand. If you are Mr and Mrs Bailey and you was on this beach today, middle of December, it's still there forever on this video. Now what will happen here we're going to take a slight turn to the left as we go around these cliffs which should and could point us in the direction more of the sunset. Okay, as the sky gets ever more beautiful, so the sun is hitting the clouds on the horizon there. I could just make out Crowbar Pierce just out there. Look at that beautiful colour. Coming up to West Runton now. West Runton slipway is just up there. And that's when I'm going to attempt to continue the journey up the cliff coastal path and head off towards the 207 foot high beast and bump just on the outskirts of Sheringham. Right. One last look at the beaches of West Runton and Cromer in the far distance. Let's get ourselves up here, see if we can find this cliff path. There we go, found a cliff, coastal path. Now we're way above, look, look at that. And it's about six minutes until sunset. Thank you. 
really starting to lose the light now and the purpose of doing this walk at this time was so we did capture the difference in light and colour and it's similar to the walk I did previously about ooh, last summer where I walked from Cromer Pierce the lighthouse starting off in like semi-light conditions and working my way forward to a glorious sunrise still see the sea down there I must be a good hundred feet up from that bit of a caravan park going off there but it's a proper footpath and we've just been looking at the sunset over West Runton. Beast of Bump is right over there where the sky is at its lightest. So three and a half miles we've done from Crover, look. We've got one mile to go till Sheringham. And look, Beast of Bump sits there waiting for us to conquer her. Look that beautiful sky behind it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to use the drone anymore. It is a bit too dark, so it might not let me use it, but I'd love to just give it a bit of a whiz round at the top. Right, let's get these steps counted. top of beast and bump 207 feet 69 steps <laughs> you can tell look at that beautiful sky hey that's just brilliant I can see chroma I can see the lighthouse and the church in the far distance from that beautiful sky right I'm really losing the light now uh, I'm making my way back down the other side the Sheringham side of beast and bump you can just see Sheringham I can see Tesco over there.
right that is it i hope you do enjoy this video we're back in chroma now thank you very much for watching all of you all year there's so many people i can thank uh, i want to say happy birthday to rachel this should be out on your birthday on the friday and also big thanks to loads of others mum stepdad george and victoria thank you see you soon bye bye